Hello, my name is Jacob Avila of 5 Minutes Sono, and this is how you scan the soft tissue. Your probe of choice for this exam is going to be the linear probe. It's a high resolution probe that will give you good images of the superficial structure of the soft tissue. You can also use the curvilinear probe, but the resolution isn't going to be quite as good. What you're really doing with this examination is basically trying to figure out if a patient has cellulitis or edema. Before we do that, you need to know what normal looks like. That bright white hyperechoic line that you see there at the bottom is the cortex of the bone. Above that you see the striae of the muscle. And then above this fascial plane that you see here you'll see the subcutaneous tissue and that's what you have to focus on for this exam. Now this is what cellulitis looks like. Notice the islands or pockets of hyperechoic soft tissue surrounded by hypoechoic or dark fluid. This indicates inflammation around the area which would be indicative of cellulitis. This finding looks so much like cobblestones that if we see something like this on ultrasound, that's basically what we say. We say it's cobblestoning, and cobblestoning is synonymous with cellulitis. Now there is something else that kind of looks like cellulitis on an ultrasound, and that's edema. There are two ways that you can differentiate between the two. The first one is your physical exam. If it looks infected, think cellulitis. If it doesn't look infected, think edema. The other one I heard from Dr. Chris Fox at Castlefest last year. What he said was that if the islands are really bright, it's more likely to be inflammatory and more likely to be cellulitis, and if they're a little more dull, then they're more likely to be edema. The other finding that you will see is an abscess. Here you see a discrete pocket of fluid that is consistent with the fluid collection, and if you suspect an overlying infection, you can be pretty sure it's an abscess. Sometimes you can see the particles themselves moving within an abscess, and that's called a swirl sign, and that's thought to be a little more specific for an abscess. There are a few things that might look a little bit like an abscess on an ultrasound that aren't an abscess. The first one is a lymph node. The way you can tell between a lymph node and an abscess is you'll put power color Doppler over the suspected fluid collection, and if it has some blood flow, it's probably a lymph node because an abscess should not have any blood flow. Next is a lipoma. A lipoma would be very discreet and not have any particles in it. A blood vessel, that one's pretty easy. You just put regular color Doppler on there, and if you see pulsatile flow, it's a vessel. And lastly, a hernia, especially in the groin. The way you can identify a hernia is to look for peristalsis. If you don't see any peristalsis but you still think it's a hernia, you can throw some colored Doppler or power color Doppler around the edges of the structure. If you see increased flow, it might increase your suspicion that this is a hernia instead of an abscess. That being said, if you have a really bad abscess, you might have some hypervascularity around that abscess. So just use your clinical exam and your clinical gestalt to figure out if it's a hernia or an abscess. If you have any questions about this topic, you can always contact me on Twitter or send me an email. If you want to know a little more about this topic, I would highly recommend the lecture from Castlefest last year that you can see right here on iTunes or the One Minute Ultrasound app from the guys at Ultrasound Podcast.